Hello lovelies, this is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com back again with another moment for chronic wellness. Thanks for being here. We're continuing to talk about sleep and chronic illness. The It's remarkable how difficult sleep can be and uh, whether that's because of pain or medications or part and parcel for some of our diseases, it kind of doesn't matter. <laughs> it just matters that we're not getting it. And there's a reason that uh, sleep deprivation is an instrument of torture. Um, not getting enough refreshing sleep is a difficult and uh, adds measures of magnitude of hardship to our already frustrating and difficult lives. And so we're talking about what things are under our control, what can be done, what can we do to make any sort of headway or difference. And uh, continuing on the path of sleep hygiene and things we can do to perhaps make it better. One of the things that uh, generally specialists and physicians agree is a good idea is having a sleep routine. Well, I don't know about your life, but my life is really unpredictable from one afternoon to the next, from one morning to the next, from, you know, forget about days, the hours, the, there's not a common wake time. There's not a common thing about my days, whether it's what appointments I have from one day to the next to how my pain is from one day to the next, um, my days are very irregular and unpredictable. And so I find this uh, assertion that we should have sleep routines really tricky to wrestle with. And so the way that I have made sense of it in my life is to enact a bedtime. And for me, if I am in bed before that bedtime because of how long the day has been or how my pain has been, fine. But if I'm not in bed before then, then I try to respect the bedtime. Um, I get up when I get up for a variety of reasons, whether that's because pain drove me from the bed or an appointment drove me from the bed or I slept until I woke up and that's when I got up. Um, but for me, having a hard and fast bedtime does help my body know, okay, body. It's time to organize around the fact that it is nighttime and we're going to do this. <laughs> autonomic, autonomic dysregulation be damned. It is time to sleep. So get your game face on, get your shit together and organize around the fact that now is the time for REM. And I do think that it helps. It is certainly not a solution with a capital S, but it makes a difference. Um, I can tell if I try to push it and uh, stay up later and it then impacts my next few days. It sometimes impacts pain. And so respecting a bedtime makes a difference for me. How about you? Do you have bedtime? Do you have a sleep routine? Um, do you have a wind down routine? You know, getting off screens or turning on blue lights or uh, having lights that dim or, you know, what about, what about you? Tell me about your bedtime routine or tell me if you have a routine or why you don't. Leave a comment below if you're on YouTube. Um, if you're not on YouTube, surf over there and leave one there anyway. The, I'd really be glad to hear from you. And in the meantime, I'm grateful you're here watching and or listening. And until we're together again, thank you and be well.